Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we're getting into a random battle immediately. So we have a couple new enemies right here. I think we've seen the zombie before in a previous cave. But we also have the deadheads, which are in the back there. They're the blue fiery skull guys. And we also have the shadows. So all of these enemies are undead, so go ahead and launch some fire against them. Unfortunately, one of the enemies got a uh, blind status on Guy. I think it might have been the shadow, I mean that makes sense, like shadow causes darkness which was is difficult to see in, you know? And I only have two eye drops, which is a bad thing, and I j I very first battle right next to the entrance of this place, and I've already used one of them, that's just great. So if I could figure out who I wanted to attack, that would be great. Um, hello? Something tells me I was having problems with my controller. Uh, right there. I have no idea. That happens sometimes. But here we have new enemies. The balloons, I think, are new, but the grenades are definitely new. Uh, well, they're bo both basically the same thing, but the grenade is a more powerful version of the balloon. And really, the only thing special about them is that when they get into low health, but you leave them alive, they will use an ability called Self-Destruct, and it'll be like a different level, just like this fire spell has a different level or whatever. And they'll basically do however much damage that they have left. Like, however much HP that they have, that's how much damage they're going to do to you. Here we have another group of new enemies, the Ghouls. I think they cause Paralysis or something like that with their regular attack. And they are undead creatures, so go ahead and launch some fire against them. It especially helps when there's only one left, and this is just going to do massive damage. 496 at this point in the game. That would kill anybody in this party. That would kill Guy, uh, which is pretty big, considering he's the tanky character right now. We get some more gill from that treasure. So far, this place is relatively straightforward, with only a little bit of uh, straying paths here or there, which is nice. Uh, here we have another new enemy, the Icicles. I believe these are the un other enemies that you could find outside of the cave in the icy type area along with the snowmen. They really aren't too bad at all. Uh, they just do a lot of damage while their later uh, versions do. This time not so much. Uh, they're a little bit strong defensively I think, but still not too bad. But let me tell you, the sound effect that they make when they, whenever they attack with their claws, that whoosh sound, I freaking love that sound effect. As strange as it sounds, I really like that sound effect. You know, we probably shouldn't go into that water. It's probably mad freezing cold, but, well, Furion and friends don't care. Also, I really have to stop trusting these random doors into nowhere. They just lead into a bunch of random encounters, which is no good. Okay, let's just head on through Snow Cavern B3 already. We are going to find some more stuff. Nothing really on that last floor. Uh, here we have an Antarctic Wind, which when used as an item in battle, it'll cast uh, Blizzard 16, which will do a ton of damage, especially to something weak against ice. So I suggest you save that uh, for whenever you find a turtle-type enemy. Um, use it then on that. I'm pretty sure I you, I just save it entirely and never end up using it, so just use it against a turtle-type enemy that you're having difficulty uh, fighting against. Which I think we there's an enemy like that somewhere in this cave. Alright, there we got a mithril mace, but it was guarded by enemies. Uh, I forget what those enemies are, but we've fought them all before, so I really didn't f feel the need to show them off. Okay, launching 10 million cures with Ferion. That's why I gave him and Guy the Cure spell for just little heals in the beginning of the game just to save some of Maria's MP because, especially early on, she needs as much MP as she can get. Okay, next up we have this floor right here, and by going all the way down and around we will find something such as the stairs to the next floor, which is very helpful. So back at B4 now, so far no more new enemies. I want to say that we fought all the new enemies in this cave. There might be one more that I'm forgetting about, um, but he's no he will be come up later if that's the case. Uh, we got a blizzard tome, so might as well teach that to Ferion just in case. So we don't have another, what was the name of that last turtle that we fought? I think that was the Adamantoise maybe? 
Um, or the land turtle. I think it was a land turtle, actually. Um, so we don't have another one of those. Uh, we're gonna teach Fairy on Blizzard for that time, whenever it may happen. Which is a good plan. You want to at least have, like, all the elemental sk skills on all of your characters. Uh, Fire Blizzard and Thunder. As well as Teleport on one of them that isn't your Black Mage. And Cure on all of them as well, and maybe even Life. Uh, that's really the setup that I would suggest in terms of spells for all your characters. And, well, it's happened. We use the other eye drops, and we don't have one for Ferion now. So now his accuracy is going to be really, really low, and he's not going to be doing too, too much damage. Which sucks, but, you know, we're gonna have to deal with this. Okay, so that's that. Another random door that I... I've stopped trusting the doors altogether. And more water. Still not freezing, though, luckily. Okay, here we have another chest. Ancient sword with a monster in the box. I... Great. We're... We have more darkness in the house. With Guy now being blind as well. This is really not looking too well. Like I said earlier, it's been a short... Oh, there's another new enemy. I knew there was something. Dual heads. They're kind of strong physical attackers, definitely stronger than your average physical attacker. Uh, 44 damage, which is a pretty sizable chunk of HP for this point in the game. Although, although then again, only 9 to Furion. Um, Joseph really doesn't have that much, very much... How do, how do I word this? He doesn't have very good equipment yet, uh, because we didn't really go to his shop and buy stuff. Uh, wow. Oh man, guy. Oh. I am so impressed, you have no idea. So they're not weak to ice, which I don't know why I was expecting that, considering they live in the freaking snow. Um, I don't know if they're actually weak to anything, but you know, whatever. They do have surprisingly low HP for what they are, though. I mean, wow, okay, Joseph, way to go. Uh, Maria doing zero, but that's kind of expected, considering she hasn't really been attacking all too much, she's just been using magical spells. But at this point, I really want to save her MP for the boss character. Uh, early on in the game, all of the bosses are really tough, and the fact that they have a massive defense for what they are. And so, you just want to have magic so you don't have to deal with that extra damage, or that extra defense. Okay, so Guy Speaks Beaver. And apparently all that you need to know Beaver is Snook Snook and Chit. Um, so uh, Snooky will be helpful here, I guess. I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the bell's in the wall. Okay, thank you. Um, good thing you know what Goddess Bell means. I guess Guy said Goddess Bell in uh, Beaver. And he doesn't know anything else about anything else. And all these other ones just say Snook, Chit, or whatever. Uh, so really that's it. Um... But yeah, a door that actually helped. Holy crap, who would have thought? And there's a secret passage right there that the beaver told you about, I think. Okay, so from here, we are really nearing the end of this cave. It would have been nice if we could have rested with the beavers, like one of them had a beaver in or something, but no such luck. Uh, so we're going to go around here, and I think I saw the door where the thing is. We are really hurting here. And let me tell you that darkness is not helping whatsoever with my attempts at surviving. Uh, I think we just ran out of potions too, so we're going to need to just power through for this last bit. And oh, look at that, we have a turtle enemy. Great. Why am I reminded of the Master of Disguise? God, I watched that movie. <laughs> So long ago, when I was really young, why am I not giving that to Joseph? Give that to Joseph, there we go. But I watched that movie, like, years and years ago, I think elementary school. And I thought it was really funny back then. And I just recently, uh, watched the, um... I, I wanna say it's like... Oh god, I forget his name. Shoot, it's that one review guy. Which really, really helps, I know. It's not the angry video game nerd. He, I, th I want to say it's like angry something. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I, I need to look it up now. Uh, you to YouTube. But yeah, I, before I get his name, I watched his review of it. 
and I'm just like seeing the clips that he shows and I'm like, I can't believe I really like this movie that much. Did I just, yeah, I just beat him. Okay, so yeah, just spam Blizzard against him. I, I say as I'm still looking this up. Um, Master of Disguise. Nostalgia Critic, that's who it is. Okay, they, yeah, that's right. I, and then after that, I basically went on a little mini Nostalgia Critic binge. I watched his review of the uh, Digimon movie, and I want to say one other thing, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, but by getting the Goddess Spell there, we can open up the stairway that'll bring us straight up to B1, which is very helpful since we can't teleport out of this location because there is still one matter of business to take care of, and he's right over here. Borgen followed us over to the this cave, even though I don't really think he has a snowcraft. Um, but yeah, he's going to try to kill us. So we have yet another boss, and he gets <laughs> he gets us an immediate strike, and yet he still misses. Uh, good game, Borgen, and oh my god. I didn't do a single point of damage to him, and he heals himself. Good thing I'm blind, or you'd be done right now, honestly. Okay, Joseph just takes none of Borgen's crap and just kills him right off. Good job, Joseph. Okay, so that ridiculousness aside, um, goodbye. We're just gonna walk right around your body. And, oh, he's actually alive. Oh, great. Why did why couldn't you have just disappeared into thin air like all the other enemies? Oh, there you go. Okay, good. Well, any character in Final Fantasy rather doesn't have to be an enemy necessarily. Uh, jo Joseph, that's not exactly how this scene works. Um, we're just supposed to run away, almost get crushed, and then grab our hat at the very last second. Well, great. Joseph didn't read the script, and now he's going to die for it. God, that is like... One, I mean, they don't really show it, but you just gotta kind of imagine, like... How violent of a death that really is. I mean, he got crushed in between a rolling gigantic rock, like nine times the size of his entire body. He got him crushed in between that and the wall. And I, I know that's not a pleasant thought to think of, but I mean, seriously. Yeah. And he doesn't even, like, get any last words. I mean, you really know he was messed up because normally the enemy says, like, Oh, I've been beaten. Or goodbye, or whatever. Like, Borgen, he had last words. Joseph, he didn't have last words after getting hit with the, uh, kill shot, quote-unquote. He just left. Like, he really got messed up by that. But with that, in the next video, we will take on Kashuan Keep. So I will see.